What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. It is Saturday, the day before Easter. You guys see I'm hooked up to that 223 blackjack. We're getting ready to go to the sandbar today, do some spear fishing, some fishing, some grilling. We're gonna have a good time. We're not going hunting though, so why do you got a jacket on? It's cold. Before we get started on this video, I gotta go inside and show you something that my girlfriend Crystal did for my son Jake, and it is so awesome. All right, Jake, come outside. So we got him in the bedroom. He can't come out, he doesn't know what it is. First time he's never hurried in his life. Son, look at this outfit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look at his hog. This video just hit a million views of him shooting that big old boar hog. Look at the teeth. Those are big teeth. Do you remember that hunt pretty well? Pretty well, all right. Now I can tell you the jacked up thing about this whole situation is my giant Missouri deer is laying on the couch right now because of this. <laughs> Wait, which hog was this? This is the one that Jake killed with his crossbow. I'll put the thumbnail right here in the title. The link to this video will be in the description below. It just hit a million views. Jake absolutely smokes this hog. And my beautiful girl, you better give her a hug. She's the one who mounted it. My beautiful girlfriend mounted it. You're welcome. And Jake, your deer's right there. I actually have some short clips of her mounting it. So I'll roll a couple clips of her doing it right now. And then when we get back here tonight, I'll show you some more. Can you repeat that? I can't wait to spear you on a... A hogfish? Fish. Yeah. You guys, there's Mr. Adam, and if you watched one of my most recent offshore videos, you will see him, we now call him Ralph. The last time you saw me, I think I was doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so in here, I've got some pre-made up broccoli and onions, just to go on the grill, because we got our little grill in there, we got all of our rods. We've got our NLBNs, no live bait needed. That's what's gonna catch him. You got that right. You guys, I never, ever, ever thought I would be on the NLBN juice. Dude, those baits right there work. Now there's a hogfish on his shirt. Mm -hmm. We got all spirions and I'm ready to shoot some stuff. Do you have we your sunglasses? They're usually I keep them in the truck. I love them. Right. We don't kill anything with the amount of spirions. Yeah, we got tart. Oh yeah, we got some spear guns. There ain't no fish. We got Tarzan, we got little Luke. You got your sunglasses? I'm gonna grab them in my and bag it's right now. Tarzan's birthday, y'all. Give Tarzan a shout out. Yeah, Happy birthday. He's turning nine. Nine? Yeah, I thought, no, 12 or nine? Um, I'm turning 14, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find them? No, but I know where I got them back up there. It's a constant battle of wondering if they have their shoes. 99% of the time when I go to a restaurant with my kids, they don't have shoes. Like, we just walk in and yeah, the kids don't even act like anything's different. They just walk in the restaurant barefoot. They don't care. But if I don't ask them if they have their sunglasses, their hat, if they brush their teeth, it, it ain't happening. Poppy, no. Oh my, how are you gonna come up here and catch the first one? I think. Yeah, oh, yeah. get him in the boat. Y'all, we came out here to go, he just realized he was hooked. We come out here to go spear fishing and playing at the sandbar. A guy told me at the bait shop that the Pompano were running. We got a keeper in the boat. Old Abram himself. One thing about it, we now have something to put on the grill when we do go to the sandbar. Pompano is crazy good to eat. That's called a goofy jig. And when you heard Abram say, they'll hook you, they will definitely you hook got. you. That's my favorite color right there. Oh. Well, why didn't you tell me to put that color on? <laughs> you literally just put secret. this on, threw it out there. What? You had it out there for just a second and that thing bit. First pop. They kind of look like... Awesome. Piranhas, but Good, we got lunch. 13 inch, 14 inch pop. Alright. Which cooler do you want to put them in? That back cooler. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. Can you get the right. Sweet. How come you're the only one catching anything? Cause I got the I got the right jig. I'm about to confiscate that right jig. What, what do you think, Jake? I don't know. I like this color, the pink and the green. What's your what is that? I hooked him in the tail. Well, that's why he's fighting so hard. So Pompano, a cool fact about Pompano, unless this is in a So Pompano, they run around the jig super quick, like like zigzagging around it. This is a shark. Oh. Not a, wait, 
You just caught a catfish. No, it's a ladyfish. Get him in here. We'll use him for cut bait. That's a poor man's tarpon. It's a tarpon. But Papa no like zig through the jig. Well, that took some skill hooking him in the tail. We don't need him for cut bait. Go ahead and turn him loose. Nick's right. hooked up. Luke's hooked up too. Y'all look at the fish Luke just caught. Let me see your Tito buff. <laughs> Matches go. your shirt. Jake, you got real, real light leader, Jake. I wish I had a net for this. There's one on your feet, but it's all the way at the bottom. Oh, Lord have mercy. Take your time. You got light leader. Woo. Nice. He's a feisty meatball. Swing him all in one swing. Nice keeper. Pompano. Now here's what we're talking about what's unsafe. You see that quill swinging around? That's yes. when you get hooked really, really bad. The line just broke and the jig flew overboard, but we got Did the Did it go overboard? Yeah. That was really close to Luke. All right, let's go to the sandbar and go spear fishing. Yes. Go back there and show her your fish. Woo. Hold on to him. He almost went over the side. There we go. Awesome. He's right, going to be good on the grill. Stick him in the cooler. Go get us dinner, son. Right down there by those roots. Anytime y'all are doing this, you got to have your dive flag. Oh, he's looking at something. Well, do not shoot the snook. Luke, are you ready to go to the sandbar and be able to play and catch fish? I just want to snorkel. We got to give Abram his 14 birthday spankings. We'll pick a good switch up there. Oh man, mom used to tear our butts up with them Australian pine branches because they don't break. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Look at Jake, he's scared of sharks because he saw a video where I was here and there was a shark. Look at him. He's standing up there in a the shallow. That or he's stalking Jake something. Big bull shark! Big bull shark! He just shrugged his shoulders like, huh? <laughs> there ain't no shark, just shoot something. Sand perch or anything. If you kill a great white, then we have meat for days. Luke, it's not it's not legal to shoot a great white. Well then why is it not legal for them to kill us? That is, he did have a good point right there. Why is it not illegal for sharks to kill us? We should make that a law. We got some hermit crabs and a bunch of big shells. Look at this giant one. Are we gonna cook those? Probably. They'll be like the crab legs we ate like tonight. You're not cold, Luke? The, the poor for you go out right Let's there. see if I can skip this. Nope. Dang! Got it? Come on, Luke. Let's go exploring in this little cove back here. Come on. I saw a real pretty cove back here. Come on, Crystal. Anytime you're in mangroves like this, don't disturb them. Just step over them and around them. I love coming to places like this. It's like you're in the middle of nowhere, but you're actually right in town. <laughs> you're actually right next to the airport. That's why we can't fly the drone right here. Look at this, this is like, you could imagine this being somewhere in the middle of absolute nowhere. We're only 
half mile from the boat ramp and quarter mile from houses right there. On low tide, this forms a little pool. Luke, I read a story one time that a pirate crashed on this island and he had to bury his treasure, but nobody ever found it. Wait, what? Yeah. I think he was, his nickname was Blackbird, but he was a pirate. He crashed on this island somewhere. No, he, his teammates actually killed him. Somebody killed him? No, his own team killed him. I just saw something shoot off. Look, look. Is this a pirate ship? Could be. If you start looking around and look for treasure. Let's see. Y'all want to see what an alligator looks like? You could have come up with a better name than Black Bird. I was thinking on the fly. It's usually Black Beard. I know Black Beard, but... Nobody knows Black Bird. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get the boat and we'll set up the grill. All right, here's the boys. There's Abram and there's Jake. Y'all seeing anything? Oh, he give me the thumbs up. Y'all want to see the difference? Here comes my sunglasses. Look how pretty it is with polarized. Well, you always got to make sure it's not on safety. Look how much prettier it is with polarization. Dang, what do you got, Adam? Adam's got something big on. I got to get down here. It's like crawling through a maze, though. I'm coming. If I don't cut my feet off. Adam's bowed up on something big. What is it? A blue runner? That's weird to catch out here. You need to put him in a bait well and bleed him out though. What's up, boy? You guys can actually rent this boat right here. You can come out and he'll bring you. He's got a water slide. He's got a big raft. Pretty neat. He's actually got two of them. They came by at perfect time to get a free shout out. It's 561-628-6080. I love hermit crabs. Wait till you see how cool he is out here. Ow! Oh, he's pretty. I think we should cook him. No, I think we should keep him. Luke needs your assistance in hide and go seek. Look, Adam's like a straight killer. He's just fishing all the time. As y'all can see, these are our three fish. We got a blue runner that Adam just caught, two pompano. Jake caught one, Abram caught one. We got the grill going. We got my beautiful girlfriend. And the kids are over there playing hide and go seek, manhunt. How fair is it that the two older boys make the youngest one come find them? There's a private airport right over there and all these jets come flying out of here like crazy. What do you got, just shrimp on a yep. bear hook? I've been chumming shrimp. No, I'm pitching shrimp. It's coming out. I'm telling you, cameras are bad luck. Oh, what was, that was a whiff. I don't know why these people keep borrowing my jets. It's messed up. Hey, we can't let the fire go out this time like no, we did last week. You can't let the fire out again. Whatever. We love this little grill. I paid like $30 for it. We take it everywhere. When you're done with it, you can dump the um, coals into a hole, put water on them, let them cool off put them back in the bucket this thing will cool off really quick put it back in the boat and you can actually dry the coal out and use it again Ellie rubs see this is what gabe says crystal does at night she has her donuts and milk before bed he just rubs her belly listen to she, it. she blows up i thought you were catching a snapper what I is tried. this i tried oh that's a beautiful one too 
He's he is pretty. pretty. Alright. What'd you get, crab. Luke? A hermit crab. Right Babe, should we, we tell can now them, have uh, a hermit crab. Should race. we tell them the egg rolled story right now? <laughs> There's a lot more cool stuff to talk about. I mean than that. I mean the egg roll story is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, can't no. it, it's just I'm serious. it's just like, it's just like the puffer when your belly blew up after eating that bad egg roll. I think I got the worst look ever. What happened? You cut yourself? So hard it fell on my foot. All right, listen, y'all. We got to tell a funny story was real it your quick. Younger brother's and head. For when I was walking out to restart the game, a tree broke and fell on me. Oh yeah, man. All right, so because I've already said it, I can't not tell the whole story. We have so much to we, talk about. This. But this is what the people want. They want to know what happens in our life. That we so we were turkey hunting and for some reason like there's this Dixie Union place in Blackshear, Georgia. They got the best fried chicken and pork chops ever. My girlfriend orders an egg roll from a gas station and we're in the woods turkey hunting and she's like 10 yards from me. Her stomach bubbled so loud. I heard it from where I was sitting. She sits up and she goes, babe, can I be excused? <laughs> Why are you grinning so fast? <laughs> Why did you have to leave so fast? Why have you told everybody that story? But this is what people love. No, they don't want to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> Abram, have you ever had to run real quick and use the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> Jake? Yeah. You know how mad I would have been after we sat there for five hours and then right at prom time I had to go. And, and one showed up? Came in and you shot it? Hey, that's just that's just life y'all leave a comment below if you enjoy stories of what we're doing even though we don't have footage of it when i heard her stomach do that she leans up and this girl here is more serious than any person i've ever met she will fish from daylight to dark and then want to fish all night she'll hunt from daylight to dark then she'll go thermal hunting all night so for her to get up and leave where we were turkey hunting it was an emergency i assure you and it was funny the way that she looked at me she's like babe babe i gotta go right now poof she was gone she left it is so windy today the only thing that's holding my boat is those two power poles and that's why i love them so much see that i don't have to deal with an anchor the boat's just sitting here what you i just bought hooks today they're in there a little finicky right now. Oh, you're gonna go with the long leader. We gotta go long leader, 10 pound, and we're gonna downsize our rod. So we got right here. I think I need what do I need out of this cooler. No, it must be in the front. I was a fish zero, bro. Oh, oh, you took the knife too. Yeah, right here is what I need. This is the broccoli, and this is the onion hot dogs we're ready to go got some more shrimp while everybody's playing manhunt I'm getting these fish ready to cook the coals are just about right the funny thing about this is that everybody loves pompano but I guarantee you this um, blue runners can be just as good to eat man there's some serious planes coming and going must be because it's Easter Sunday we have all kinds of crabs up here Oh yeah, he's taking that whole thing. These blue runners don't have much scales, but they do have a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them off. I could do this every day. This new knife that I'm using is from Danko. It's called the Lunar. It's actually a really nice knife. It's a little bit different, made of some different metal than my other knives that you always see me use. You can find all of this and much, much more on DankoPliers.com. And if you use promo code BLUEGABE, you can save 10% off your entire order. And that's a lot because you get on their website, you're going to be spending some money because they make everything. Pliers and knives and D-hookers and sabiki rigs and deep drop rigs. Pretty much everything. Just going to score him a little bit. Just like that. Is Adam catching fish back there? Oh, Adam, cute. Look at that, one cleaned blue runner. The 
pompano don't have really any scales, but they have some slime on their skin, so I just scratch them a little bit. Because our grill is small, I'm actually going to cut the pompano's head off. Take the knife, pop a little bit of guts out. Oh, these are fish row. Here's what you want for chum. Good shot. Fish love other fish's eggs. They absolutely love them. So the pompano is way easier. Can you see these right here? Yeah. Those things right there will wreck you. God, they're annoying. I've been poked so many times by them. Cut his tail off. And I'm going to cut these fins off right here just because we're limited on space. When I come walking down here a minute ago, Crystal looked all worried. She's like, something's wrong with Luke. He's out there yelling that he's into something. So she hauled butt to him. He was up in a tree acting like he was hurt. And when she went to him, she said, what are you doing? He goes, I'm trying to trick him into thinking I'm hurt. Come find me. Because he was actually trying to find them. That boy has some creative thinking in his head, I can tell you. Hold your knife just like that and the whole backbone will come out. Score them. Scoring them just allows them to cook through and through. One clean pump now. The tag in him. What's in his back? I don't know. That is a tag. Luke, what did you just find? This thing. Oh. Don't wow. flop it up here. Ah, ah, don't put it up here. He's still alive. You guys, Luke just come walking up here with a snook that's injured real bad. You can see he's in horrible shape and he's got a tag sticking out of him. I wonder what happened to me. I don't know. I mean, he's definitely not going to make it. He's in bad shape. I wonder if somebody's hooked him in. And... I don't know. If you look right here on his jaw. I think we're gonna go with the blue runner first. Just a little bit of olive oil. So he doesn't stick to the grill. Get it in all the cracks and crevices. We're gonna go with some barbecue, queuing it up. I used this a long time ago, at least two years ago, and, and the guy that owns it sent me some more and I forgot how much I liked it. I really, really love this. And they also give me a promo code too. If you want some, look in the link in the description below. I know Mr. Trevor's like a die-hard barbecuer. He used some of it and he's like, uh, I need some more. This little grill gets hot. Wow! Anyhow, we're gonna go with some barbecue, queuing it up. Get that down in the crack too. And the guts. We're just gonna lay it on the grill. We're gonna cook both the fish exactly the same. Everybody's starving. Or I would wait till that fire calmed down a little bit. We could probably get two of these fish on there at one time. Oh yeah. Perfect. This fish is cooking perfectly. Look at that crust. This fish right here, though, look at that. So good. But can you smell it? Look at Luke right over there. Luke, I don't know what he come here and look at all the pieces of meat. There's so many crabs that are piling up on it. He's oh, he's he's so up. sad right now. He's got he's his, keep him, him in the water. He's so sad that that snook's dying that he's over there trying to keep him upright to live. That's sad. Poor fish. Bring him over here and let's see him. Look, you ought to tell Mr. Adam to let you help help you catch one of those snapper. Where are they? Where are they? You got a pair of Dankos around here? Yeah, there's a brand new pair of Danko pliers in the boat. Where's the, where's the hermit Schoolmaster. They're right over there. See the chunks of meat? How many species have you caught? I don't to, even know to, what today or just now? Just now. I don't even know what that is. That's number three. It no, almost you looks, caught a puffer, a mangrove. That is four. A schoolmaster, and we think this might be a dog snapper. Oh, big cat. Oh, 
Oh, bucket, Sandy. This piece right here is almost done. This one right here, folks, just fell and landed on that leg right there and didn't go in the sand. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Here he comes, folks, with another species fishing in the same spot. Hasn't moved. Oh, that's one of the grunts. Almost just like. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. That's a bad place to land. <laughs> the poor fish went from the water onto the grill and bounced off. That's where he wants to be. Good thing is there's no size limit on these, so we could have put them on the ground. We Come could have. Whoa. Son, what happened to you? So the other fish is done. I got them right here. The broccoli's done. This is the third fish, actually the second pompano. And I took the onions out of the aluminum foil and I'm just charring them out. And they smell amazing. God for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us be able to be out here today and be safe and have a fun time and be able to be blessed with this amazing food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Got the broccoli, the onions, the hot dogs, pompano, blue runner, pompano. I think I want Tarzan and Crystal. I thought blue runner was a weak. I'm tired of letting Luke try all my stuff because <laughs> he's like, too much of a critic. Mm, I give it a four. Tarzan here. Because Tarzan eats pompano a lot. That's one of his favorite fish to catch. To go so actually, I want you to try the blue runner. Alright. You can use your fingers. Ain't nobody judging out here. Be truthful. It's alright. I don't like the texture though. It's good, just not the texture. Alright, now try a bite of pompano. I should have told I should have see I should have tried to trick him. Because I personally think the texture of a blue runner and a pompano is the same, but. Oh gosh, here, com good. here comes the... You did, it didn't even get in your mouth before you give me the thumbs up. Come on, babe. All y'all dig in. Jake, get up here. Jake's wanting him a hot dog. Y'all got bread. Fish. That's what I want. Oh, we got the broccoli, though. That's what so I'm talking about. So this is pompano, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. pompano. Luke's not a fan. Is that the blue runner? Yeah, break that little piece of bloodline like off. It's fish. <laughs> it's fish. What if we were stranded on an island? It'll do them. We wouldn't have an option. What do you think, babe? It's delicious. Have you tried to run her yet? No. It'll make you run. Listen. Or should I say, give you the run? I'm runs. a bad judge of food because I haven't met a food I don't like yet. Except egg rolls. And yeah. I would still eat egg rolls. I actually didn't like her. Good? I think it's delicious. What do you think, Jake? I think it's good. I mean, you can tell we've already ate all this. Well, that's not the one we have in question. It's this one. All right. Well, here, you got to tread lightly now. There's bones in here. I'm going to go grab a, a drink. From the okay. Door. The pompano is better. So thus far, everybody said the pompano is better. This one just tastes really fishy. This one right here, that's good. To be honest, I'd rather have the blue runner instead of pompano. Okay. That bite of Blue Runner I just got is darn good. Yeah. And Tarzan just said that the Blue Runner's better. Yeah, for sure. I'd rather have the Blue Runner than the Pompano. And we could go catch Blue Runners all day, every day. Yeah, for sure. That piece I just had was phenomenal. Yeah, that was a, I mean, mine was awesome too. He's still, he's debating right now. We're just starving right now. I know, I want a but hot honestly, dog with mustard. Can we flip the fish? They're both that good. That blue runner is in competition with that pump no. She's about to eat her. Don't throw that more. skin out. That's my favorite part. The skin's where all the vitamins and nutrition come from. They're creeping on us. Oh, we got some people coming in. They smelled our food. They did. They smelled Blue Gabe's cooking. We all they agree smelled we're blue not runner came around. <laughs> How are you going to come over here with a yoo and not bring any of the rest of us one? This looked like the only one left. <laughs> I love you who's too. He loves, he's he's just living life. He's out here just jerking off handfuls of this big piece of fish and eating it. Where did Tarzan go? He broke his leg and we had to shoot him. Well, the last time he broke his leg, we didn't have to kill him. 
I want to see the prettiest watermelon ever. Crystal got this on her way back from Okeechobee. Luke, grab you a piece of that and dig in. I purposely brought it over here by the water so he can just go swimming afterwards. <laughs> oh, it's seedless. Perfect. Is it good? Nice. Look at, look well, it's just little white seeds. Here's another. Oh, no, we have caught one of these. Look at that. Checkered puffer. That's a good eating little fish, too. Let me hear the noise. Sounds like a motor. Luke, how's that watermelon? Good. I can't. I'm just not a big fan of watermelon without salt. Dump it in the water. I don't know about all that. Not at low tide. Y'all leave a comment below if you eat watermelon with salt. Right, it's sweet, that's for sure. It's not that good? Yeah, it's sweet. Look at the juices running down her chin. Take the biggest bite you can, Luke. The biggest bite. Open up wide and go. <laughs> that was a good one. You want a bite, Jake? <laughs> what a day. Hope y'all have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Back there, it's super calm and out of the wind. Wait till you see how bad it's ripping when we get right out here. My boat's been sitting right there. Well, I moved it down a little while ago, but it's been sitting right there for three hours with just the power poles in the water. The only thing holding it, getting hit by boat wakes and chop and all this wind. Look at that. It is honking out here. These kids are sun burnt. Such a beautiful day. It's so windy that they're windsurfing over there. All right, we'll see y'all back at the house. I'm gonna have Crystal go over the hog that she mounted just a little bit and explain how the process goes. So we got Jake's hog here all done um first when Gabe brought it to Newt we um worked on getting him all completely fleshed out so um hogs have this really really thick shield in the front and that's kind of a pain in the butt to dig through and get all that out but um it's right here this is the shield from here back about five inches and you literally can't penetrate it's it thick like really, really, really thick. I actually had to have a lot of help on that because I wasn't strong enough to push through. But um, usually skinning an animal is my favorite part just because I've been skinning animals since I was a little kid and I love it. I know it's weird and gross, but I love it. But hogs are a different story because they stink and they're greasy. And when you get done, you smell like just a big old piece of bacon. But anyways, once you get that done, um, we send it off to the teamery and have the hide all ready to be mounted. It comes back as a wet tan. Um, we get it, we test it um, and on the form and make sure it's gonna fit okay. Once that fits, we do hide prep. So with the hide prep, we're getting all the skin around his eyes, everything that you tuck here, you're gonna get that super, super thin. You're gonna get their lips all thin. If it stays thick, it'll shrink over time. Um, you're getting your ears prepped. I forgot to say too that we um, have to turn the ears inside out um, and make sure all that's like all the way to the very, very edge. If you don't cut all the way to the very, very edge, you'll have rolling in the ears and that will definitely tell over time. So make sure everything's thinned and um, you also get the form ready. So with the form, we're inserting this um, piece so these are the real teeth of Jake's hog here. Those are the real teeth. So those we put in later. But the insert with all the tongue and everything, that goes in first. Are these front teeth his? No. Just the big ones. Is that his tongue? No, that's not his tongue. These aren't his eyeballs either. So pretty much everything but the, 
I mean, pretty much everything we're looking at is his, except for the eyeballs, the front teeth, the tongue, and what's inside. And this is all his yes. hide. His snout is not really his. For real? But no, but it looks like it, right? You traded his nose out? And we, we airbrushed this to match perfectly with um, his actual nose, and I think we did a dang good job on that. How come you didn't put a nose ring on him like you have? I, I could have. I should have. Yeah. Missed How long does it take from start to finish when I bring you? So I clean the hog, I get it rough, dressed out. I bring him the skin with the skull and the head and everything inside of it. From here back, it's hollow, just skin. From here back, it's head, eyeballs, and all that. To get it from where I bring it to you to where it is now, how many hours? He's total, really freaking me out. He looks like he's about to charge me right now. <laughs> total is probably eight to 10 hours. Fun fact, she even left a wart that's above his eye. Yeah, that's his wart. After we're done, so we use Bondo in the ears, get those, like you hold it in your hand and shape it just perfectly. And then after everything's done, the last step is to airbrush. So that part's pretty fun. You get to put the color back in his eyes and his nose. But yeah, this was his wart and I painted it back. Um, it was white when I got the skin back, but it's black now again from let me show him where match it. this is actually where his broadhead went through. He shot it with a 10 point crossbow and that's where it's at. So you can see this is wood, but inside is foam. This wood's just to be able to nail the skin to, to keep it all tight and in place. Where's Redneck? Y'all come here real quick. Redneck, come here. Redneck's like, heck no. Redneck, come here. Come here, Redneck. Redneck, come here. <laughs> he's, he's like heck no all right y'all that's it this has been a fun video you got to see how and hear what she does to mount one of these hogs we will show you plenty more in the future right now though it's time to end this video we got places to go and people to see we are we are headed to nebraska this weekend wyoming the following weekend New York the following weekend and then we're going to the Bahamas and we're probably not coming back for like a month. We are moving to the Bahamas. We're going to travel all over and go to places I've never even been. Thanks for watching. Huge shout out to Crystal Beachy for mounting that hog and being my right hand man or right hand woman thankfully. Your right hand woman not man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.